All right, so that's what we're working with. This was the issue here. Got a new crosser ordered. I'll either weld or glue that in place. It's got a bit of a rod going on here too. I might use what's left pieces of this to patch up over that. There's something starting up here too. Didn't build do much of that, but maybe get some metal in there. I don't know, we'll see. I blew it off the compressor a bit, started cleaning it up, get an idea what I'm looking at here, what I gotta buy. Um, I ordered some stuff, but I didn't order everything just till I finished, you know, cleaning up, figured out. So I was originally just gonna order one crosser. It looks like I'm gonna need two. This one's got a pretty big hole in it down here. And then um, I also noticed blowing it out, it blew a little hole through this panel here. So I'm gonna order that piece. I was originally just doing the two front pieces, but I'm gonna have to order that one back one too. But other than that, it, it looks pretty solid, really. There's no holes in the actual box itself, just these crossers. They're full of dirt and salt and stuff and just sitting there over the years. But, uh, got the grinder going and work on cutting these rails off here. And I do both these two. Just a little spot welds holding it on. Originally, I was trying to use a chisel and chip it off, but I was putting a hole in the box. So I just started grinding away the weld, each one. It's going pretty good. So yeah, I'll do that one, then I'll do that one. And the new piece should be here soon. We'll get to weld them on. You definitely want to have your safety glass on for this long metal flying. Yeah. Yeah, you're just gonna do that for each one all the way across. It's a little tedious, but it'll turn out good. It's worth it definitely. Price of the new box is pretty expensive. Okay, so I'm on the last crosser here. I've just been grinding the welds off. It's been going pretty good. Um, for the end ones, I found it's tough to get in there, so I just drilled the weld out. That one was a little hard to find an extra grip, I guess, but uh, I just got a couple more left. See, this one, you can see where it's the weld is, a little circle there. This one, I need to grind a little more. It's starting there. But yeah, I just got a couple more, and then that'll be off. Then we'll start cleaning that up and get ready to weld the new ones on. Okay, I got the last crosser off here, and then um, I've done a bit since then. I've also grinded this with a flap disc, a 60 grit, and I cleaned it up a bit, and then I've, now I've soaked it with a rust converter. That's why it's a little different color now. It kind of turns into black is purple, and then uh, that'll be ready for paint after. I haven't done the whole thing. I just, that's what I finished for tonight. I'm going inside, and then I, I didn't want it to rust anymore, so I put some rust converter on it. But, um... It's starting to look better, that's for sure. It's got a, it's got a hole here. I didn't realize I'm going to have to patch that up somehow. But um, other than that, it's pretty solid. I've also been... Okay, I'm working on this piece here. I've just been cutting away slowly and grinding at it, getting it to fit right. Um, I, I think I got it now. I'm just gonna just gonna go over with the flap disc and uh, it's hard to hold with the one hand, but 
if it fits pretty good there. I'm just going to go over the flap disc, sand it down a bit, and then I'm going to tack it on. And we'll see how it looks. Might have to grind more, might not. We'll see. But I think that's going to fit pretty good. First, I'm actually going to clean that up, uh, sand it down, and paint that. And then we're just still well done on. Now I got both the edges on the new panel and on the box, sanded down with the flap disc. And I got this sanded down, painted. We're ready to weld on the new panel. Some body filler in there. I'm going to have to add some body filler after I'm done because someone's redid this fender here. I'm going to probably weld, grind that down, weld that crack there after too. Alright, we got the door open. It's a nice sunny day working on the old Cummins. I got this tacked on there last night. Turned out pretty good. Still could use it a bit more weld in there. It's got a couple of little spots. Uh, it didn't. It didn't hear where you can see through it still. But um, it turned out pretty good overall. And then just working on patching the box up here. Uh, I've been cutting little pieces of metal that I got scrap leftover stuff and a good piece of old metal, and uh, sand, taking the grinder to them, cleaning them up, and then welding them on here. Just finished this one here. And then I think I'll probably do that next, and then this whole top crosser will be ready to go on there after, after I paint it and I re-grind down anyways, but then I'll go down to that after. I'll probably do all the patches, but just, just this will be ready after that anyways. Still needs a little bit more welding on in here, but... This uh, welding mask thing takes a bit of getting used to, but uh, it's kind of cool. Alright, So I just put this piece on here. It's still hot. I'm not gonna touch it. I might, but I'll burn myself. And um, this hole, is, there was one there too. There's more on this side. I'm thinking he had a fifth wheel on it before. I noticed there's a bunch, a couple drill holes down here. Got so, the truck out, cleaning up the shop. But it was pretty dirty in here. And I've been uh, doing some welding and grinding on this. Got it looking pretty good. Just gonna grind it down, and it'll be ready for paint. It's all filled in. No more holes. Oh, there's one hole there, but I'm not too really worried about those. They're, uh, they were drilled out. It's not like it's rotten. It's solid now. <laughs> All right, so we got the crosses on there. Got them welded on. Just got to uh, sand it down a bit and paint it. And then uh, I still got a bit more patches to do up there. I'm thinking I'm going to do cut, cut that and make that a nice square. And then pop a bigger piece that I can slide in and weld in the back. And then I'll, I'll cut a square that's the size of my hole that I made to fit in there so, so it looks original. And that way, this is where it sits. So if I put a piece on top, it's going to sit higher. And I don't want to have that, even if it's off a bit. I try to make it as perfect as I can. Got the bottom of the box all cleaned up, got all the undercoating, whatever shit was on and off. And uh, I'm gonna start grinding it down all the rusty spots everywhere I've welded and whatnot and get that all ready for paint. 
The middle section is pretty good. It's mainly just around the sides and the bottom here, back there. So yesterday I, um, I ground all the rust down on this with flap disc and a wire wheel. And then I uh, coated it with rust converter. I let that dry. And I went over it with um, white uh, gloss uh, trim clad. And then I'm, I'm going to get a, a spray can just to get some spots so I couldn't really get back in the. Well, that's going to be cut off in place. But back in there, I'll spray up in there. And behind here is kind of tough to get. I'll spray that also. And even inside those. Although I did paint those earlier, but uh, just get some spots I can't get. And I'll get another can of that and brush that on there. It's got pretty good coverage, but it could be better. And um, so I, in the meantime, got the gas tank out of the RV and going to work on that. Got the box on the truck now. Had a couple good friends come over, give me a hand. We lifted it on. If you're watching this, thanks again, guys. That was awesome. I just got it sitting on there right now. I still need to bolt it down. I uh, run all the wires. And uh, putting the fender wheel well liners, stuff like that. Of course, to, to celebrate, we're going to do a little burn. I'm going to shot a little rubber mud on the wall here. But mud on the wall here, but uh, the door. That was definitely worth it. It's still a little smoky in here, I think. But uh, oh, it's on there. Right, this, this piece here to do and then this piece here and the box is done and uh, just a transfer case output seal and the truck's ready to go on the road. Pretty excited about that. I got got the rest of the paint off the front here. Looks like they had some body work done there. I'll have to do a little paint there but at least that black rock guard's gone. It's starting to look pretty good. Just finish it off, cutting off a piece of the box. I'd already cut it off before, but I'm just kind of finishing, making it fit a little better. <clears throat> I didn't get the side here, so I'm just getting in there. Um, I should have did before I was on the truck. It's a little tight to work in here. So, um, not your ideal body work tool, but I'm using the Sawzall. I'm just cutting this piece of pinch welded on the, around the edge here. I just forgot to cut it all here. Just one weld kind of holding it on now. On there. I also got another one in the back piece. Got the front one in the back piece from the side to change here. And she's pretty well ready for the road after that. Yeah, I gotta cut this piece right off. Probably do that now. I think I'm gonna cut it right here. I was gonna think of cutting it a little lower down here. It'd be easier to hide my weld in the back here. Not that it really matter. I should probably hide it good anyways, but. Um, be easier actually now I'm thinking just to do it higher because I want to get all this rock art off here anyway so I'll just do it right there and get rid of as much bad metal as possible I guess. Alright, got this back piece off now. I just about got it all cut off. I'm not sure if you can see here. Um, I'm sure around here somewhere. Just going to finish cutting off the back. It looks like there's going to be a lot underneath. I might have to get under there and cut off. It's, um, yeah, it's got some extra support I think in the back here. but. Uh, I guess I should take a look before I start cutting. Looking at this, it doesn't look like it has too much, but from what I can see, it looks like there's part of the frame of the box in or something. Okay, yeah, you can see it through here. Um, but it should be fine. It's, it's a separate layer.
Alexa, what's your goal? from the bottom, so I'm going to get lift it up and get the rest from the top. Ta-da! Welding on the front piece on the driver's side here now. I was going to finish that, but I think I'm going to weld this on. That way, this side will be all at the same kind of stage. They can paint them both at the same time, prime them, whatever. Rear panel's tacked on now. Still got definitely a lot more welding on here to do, but it's tacked on, lined up pretty good. Well, I've missed a bit, but the old Cummins is going on the road next week. Got everything basically done. It's not perfect. I'll probably eventually go over and uh, do a little more filler, just the body work a bit. But uh, well, overall, it's looking good. Got the box all done, uh, everything, all the body work done, the mud flaps on. Well, there, there is still one more thing, more of a visual thing, but uh, still have to get the rock guard off of this one panel here. But other than that, I'll just get the rock guard off there and then she's ready to go yeah you might be able to see in here yeah see it's not exactly perfect but overall it looks pretty good can't wait Just getting the last of this rock guard off here Got it all off this side for all. Put the paint off to do there. And that bit at the bottom of the door is all the rock guards off this side, anyways. Oh, well, there's a bit at the front. I'm not sure. I might just paint over that. I'm not sure yet. But all the doors are off. Well, all the doors on this side. Side's soaking a bit. Be ready to come off soon. <laughs> 